This is not the first time. <laughs> no, no, I was here uh, last year. Yes. And uh, in January as well. And my husband, I took him along this time, and he likes it so much he's looking for an apartment. So I, uh, <laughs> so I probably will be here a lot. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, first time we met each other was uh, with this book. Jeg vet hvem du er in Icelandic. It's called. Yamante. Yes. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this is a standalone book. This is a thriller versus crime versus a ghost story. Yes, horror. Yeah, horror. Yeah. yeah. Can you please tell us a little about this? Because I think this is also a very important book for people that is going to get to know your uh, yeah in Norwegian. I'm not so good in English, but I'm trying. <laughs> this book, uh, I wrote it after uh, having written five books in the crime series, and I really wanted to uh, make the most of writing a standalone because in a standalone you have disposable characters characters you're not going to be using again so you can do whatever the hell you want <laughs> and you do <laughs> i can tell so and i also wanted a little bit to to try to play with the difference between a crime novel and a thriller because in a crime novel you start off usually with the worst having happened, and then you move slowly into normal ground where everybody knows who the killer is and so on. In a thriller, you're waiting for something bad to happen. So in this book, I run side by side two stories, a crime novel going this way, and then the horror part going this way. And as a result, the suspense in the book is very high throughout it. And people, at least in Iceland, found it very hard to put down. And they found it hard to sleep. They even find it hard to have the book inside their house uh, <laughs> while they are sleeping. I have yeah. to tell about this person that, uh, okay, I'm going to sleep, but this book is uh, not going to be downstairs in the living room while I'm sleeping. I think it's best that I'll put it in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> so she did. But enough about this one. I just have to say one more thing about this one, and it is that even if it has this horror ghostish uh, theme, you don't have to be. It is also a logical explanation, and that makes it even worse. Yes. If you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about your new book, Dutschsheep. It's called in uh, Norwegian. Uh, we are uh, the. Main character here is your Siri figure. Tell us yeah. about her. Thora, when I when I began writing, uh, I used to write children's books, and when I moved to crime, uh, I wanted to write a series, and I needed uh, to choose a character. What would this character do? And and usually, if you want a character that again and again and again is involved in crime, without being a criminal, you need you don't have very many options and. Uh, and I really didn't want to write about a police, uh, write a police procedural because we already had a lot of writers doing that and doing it very well. So my character is a lawyer, and she is a woman, and uh, and she is uh, quite a strong female character without being uh, violent. So so she is a uh, at least in Iceland people really like her. <laughs> And she also has a, a, a secretary who is everybody's favorite, actually. Yeah, I can, she is the one character, I will promise you. You either like her or you hate her or something in between, I think. Yeah, and she is actually the only character in any of my books who is actually based on a real person. And I can say this here, I could not say this in Iceland. I don't want to go to court. <laughs> I have to meet her next time I come to Iceland, yeah. Uh, and uh, Thora is uh, in this book. She gets this case. Uh, a couple, an old couple, comes to her for some help. Yeah. This book is uh, when I write the book. I always try to write a book that I would like to read, and I like things that are. Uh, I don't like much <coughs> drug addicts being killed by other drug addicts or things. So this is a. Uh, this is a more of a sort of a mystery, and I used something that has since I was a child. I was a little bit fascinated with stories of, of ships where everybody goes missing, 
And the ship continues sailing, and when it's boarded, you'll see the coffee, you know, still hot and this kind of thing. So I wanted to do a modern take on this. And in this book, there is a luxury yacht being transported from Lisbon to Reykjavik. On board are three crew members and a family of four, a young couple and their, their twin daughters. And when the, the ship comes crashing into the harbor in Reykjavik, all of these people have disappeared. So the mystery in the book is what happened to these people? Are any of them possibly still alive? And uh, I can assure you that uh, the, the book is starting with this scene, that uh, this couple, that's the parents of the father in the yeah. family, is waiting for the ship to come. They have also a daughter, uh, a Barbar, uh, they are from Kibi, and uh, waiting for this uh, family to come. And you see the ship, it's coming uh, slowly. It's very creepy, it's cold, it's dark, and it's coming to the harbor slowly, but too fast. And then it's into the harbor. And this is one of very many cliffhangers in your book. Yeah, I like I like cliffhangers. <laughs> so I, I try, but not stupid ones. I mean, and I try to to keep the story sort of interesting. And it changes. You have the scenes with Thora, where she is trying to. Because it's, uh, I think probably in Norway is in Iceland. If you die and there is no body, it's quite a complex situation. You need to be there as proof of being dead. So, so Thora is working on trying to prove that these people are actually dead. And then you have also scenes that take place in on the boat. What really happened on the boat? And this is also a very, a, uh, this is how you write. You have these parallel uh, stories that you get something here, something there, and the promise of a solution in the end. And you get the solution yeah. in the end. Sometimes you don't want it, but you get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so good, I can assure you. We are not going to speak so much longer because uh, we have other people to meet in other events. So it's a very hectical uh, weekend. But you are going to be here for as long as it takes yeah, yeah. to sign books. Uh, but before uh, we stop talking here, is it uh, anybody here that has any questions for Irsa? Then uh, this is the time. And if you don't dare, that's okay. You can ask her when she sure. sits there. Oh, it's a question here, but uh, maybe we'll take it later, yeah. Okay? If so, we'll sit down there to sign her books and uh, thank you all for coming. Thank and I you. hope you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>